you, you hit me up on Twitter about me wanting mobile quarterbacks to last a little bit longer about uh, because I, I might want Deshaun Watson to be in the league and mm-hmm. just want to talk about it for a second. Um, I to- I've told you for the past three or four years, or not three or four years, but when Taj Boyd was at Clemson, mm-hmm. you know, you'd ask me, is Taj Boyd a pro quarterback? And I'd say, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. And I had no doubts in my mind. Sorry, Taj, it's, <laughs> it's not your career. Uh, because he was a product of the system. But when you look at Deshaun Watson and everything you hear about him, he's a student of the game, he studies Peyton Manning. You know, he came back a week after the national title game. He'd already watched the game two times. Um, the first, you know, I think this is the first thing he's a student of the game. The second thing, remember the throw against Alabama in the national title game. It was, I don't know if it was a wheel route, but it was a streak down the sideline, and he fit it between the two Alabama defensive backs uh, to the little guy, Renfro. I do remember that play. How many, how many quarterbacks in the NFL, mobile quarterbacks, if you will, do you think would have made that throw in between two defenders like that? That's that's a great point. I think Russell Wilson might be the only one who can because in order to recognize that that's an opportunity to score a touchdown, but he got the ball there just as the defenders were closing in on it, that's the tight window that I'm talking about. Um, part of it could be luck, but I'd like to give <laughs> Watson some credit for that throw because it was a great throw. So and, um, Yeah, go ahead. It, you have to be able to recognize that there, there's a window, but it's closing. And you got to make that quick decision, like he did. Um, and you mentioned he's a student of the game. People give him a lot of credit for his study habits, and that's something that uh, guys need to work on. Like Deshaun Watson, if he if he continues to make throws like that, those NFL type throws, those NFL type reads, then he could be a mobile quarterback that works in the NFL. Um, if it happened to be luck, then perhaps not. But somebody like Cam Newton. Um, if he sees that that safety crashing, he knows he has a strong arm. He might try to zing it in there, mm-hmm. but it may not be as accurate. Or he may just say, screw this, I'm going to run. It's third and six. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to pick this up myself because I can. And either way, it results in a first down. Um, it's a great play for positive yardage, but a touchdown there is a lot better than just an eight-yard run. Right, and just, and just to finish up, I think when you watch – Watson, he's he can run, mm-hmm. but they he is primarily mm-hmm. a a pocket passer. Most of his runs are actually designed if you watch enough yep. uh, Clemson football games. And so I think if he puts on a little bit of weight to keep himself from getting injured, and mm-hmm. you know he's he's gotten pretty smart about uh, when to get down. I think he's got a, a much better chance than Boyd, and a great chance to be a, a good NFL quarterback. Yeah, it, the big thing, like you said, is just his his study habits. Um, I think Russell Wilson is a very smart quarterback. I mean, you have to be smart if you're going to be as small as he is and still be knifing people, you know. Um, Watson definitely has the potential to, especially because he has another year in college to develop and grow. And I'm sure the coaches at Clemson are telling him, like, you really need to work on becoming a great passer instead of just a really good passer if you want to be successful in the NFL. And honestly, they're probably saying, look at Colin Kaepernick, you know, look at Vince Young, look at RG3. Like You can wow people with your legs all you want, but it's not going to work in the NFL. So let us know what you think below. Um, do you think uh, mobile quarterbacks are long-lasting in the NFL? Do you think we'll see more of them uh, in the future? Or do you think that uh, typical pro style quarterbacks are and will continue to be the future of the NFL. Uh, what do you think about Deshaun Watson? Uh, let us know below in the comments. Uh, thanks for tuning in for the podcast.